Hi, my name is Rachel Ropp. I'm the owner of Casita Community Acupuncture. We began Casita about two and a half years ago to provide an affordable alternative medicine for people of all income levels. Acupuncture is a therapy, so more than one treatment is necessary. Often people come weekly for a little while. Some people with an acute issue may come multiple times in a week. And uh, with our pricing structure, people are able to get those treatments. We charge $15 to $40 on a sliding scale. People pay whatever they want to pay within that range. This low price enables people to get the treatments that they need to feel better. My name is Ingrid and I've been working at Casita Community Acupuncture for almost two years already. I absolutely love working here. I love the setting. I think the community acupuncture setting is probably the best business model that has ever been developed for this kind of medicine ever. What I like most about working here is I like seeing people come in with their family members. Well, I try to come a few times a week for the most part. Carissa's and I come with. They're able to sit next to each other while getting treated. Um, I like when I see people come in really stressed out and cranky and after being needled, they walk out like the happiest person on the planet. It is amazing. This is my second time here and this time is definitely even better than the first time. Um, it's very hard to describe it and you get an overwhelming sense of calmness that flows through your body. You just kind of sink lower near the chair and let it envelop you. I initially came for pain in my knee and anxiety. It's been very helpful. I notice particularly after I leave a session that my knee feels much looser and I'm walking better and I sleep better after sessions. It's wonderful. So I come in and you sit in a really, really comfortable chair and after the needles are placed, I almost always fall asleep. So it's like taking like the most relaxing nap in the world. Plus you wake up with all of these like medical benefits. I just came for um, aches and pains primarily in the beginning, uh, musculoskeletal issues that I've kind of dealt with off and on for many years. And I um, can, continued and came a little bit more often after a cancer diagnosis, breast cancer diagnosis in July of last year. I feel like I rebounded pretty quickly and just in my overall well-being to um, increase sort of vitality and energy, less pain. I'm looking at getting my left hip treated. Some days it, it impacts the way I walk, it hurts so bad. So that's something I've been meaning to come in for a long time and get some treatment on, and uh, I'm glad I did today. I had a traffic accident about six months ago, so there was a period of time when I was coming in a lot, mm -hmm. once, twice a week sometimes, mm -hmm. and uh, I had whiplash, my doctor said, and so within about a month I was pain free. We're inserting a solid, very extremely thin, sterile needle into points along meridians in the body. These are the lines in your body, little rivers, if you would, that the energy of your body flows through. This is the Chinese medical uh, notion of how our bodies work. Mostly what we're doing is we're activating that channel. So if you have pain along a specific part of your body, we will almost always needle that channel, and that helps to alleviate the pain. Acupuncture does not hurt. If it hurts, it's not being done correctly, and if any needle that we insert is uncomfortable for any reason, we will remove it right away. We rarely, rarely need to do that. Usually the people say, oh, is that it, when they first get acupuncture. No, the needles don't hurt, and all of you are so gentle. Sometimes a needle will be intense, as I say. But I always feel like if it's an intense needle, it's in the right place. I certainly would uh, not eliminate this from your thinking and would definitely uh, maybe even consider doing this first. Uh, it's very non-invasive, uh, obviously no drugs involved, 
and if something this simple can alleviate the problems that you might have, definitely give it a try. Western medicine definitely has its place and we often refer people to a Western doctor. They can be very complementary to each other. Well, I'm a nurse and I've had uh, both <laughs> treatments, but I've had extensive experience when I lived in California with acupuncture. It was very helpful. Uh, to my son who had cancer. It helped a lot with pain and nausea, and I saw how well it worked for him. And I have friends who are acupuncturists, so I trust the process. I don't like going to the doctors. I don't really feel like it helps me that much, and I don't enjoy taking medicine and having prescriptions, and it's just not really anything that I've ever felt has helped me very much. So I came to acupuncture for my neck and I came maybe three times and it was better and it never came back and I feel like every time I come here and I have a new problem after a couple treatments it's gone and I've never found that before with Western medicine so I, I really believe in it. I really love working here. I love having this business and we all do. We really enjoy treating people, being part of their healthcare goals. It's really just the best feeling in the world to see the progress people are making. One of the things I like about community acupuncture is the community setting, which means you are sitting in a comfortable armchair next to other people being treated. I was curious about the setting at first. I was a little nervous to be in a room full of a bunch of other people and I didn't really know what to expect, but it's actually really nice. I find that I'm not uncomfortable or self-conscious at all um, and I'm able to relax very very well uh, so it's been a very positive experience for me. Sometimes it's kind of enjoyable to see other people so relaxed. Once you sit into the chair and you and you sit down and you, you don't even notice anybody else so if you have any qualms about being here with other people, it, it goes away very quickly. When we're all together, it, it intensifies and magnifies the healing experience. And since everybody is concerned with relaxing and healing, it creates a really nice comforting and healing atmosphere. And I believe it actually speeds up your healing. I also have been touched by the range of humanity that finds its way here in all ages, all ethnicities, all socioeconomic stratas. And I think that's a beautiful thing that this, this one building can bring that much healing every week to so many different people.